Hey YouTube, it's Dakota, back again for another Homebrew Wednesday. Um, so, the Sutra Pale Ale has been sitting in there for about 10 days now. I'm going to uh, rack it over to secondary and uh, dry hop it. Um, I'm actually doing a recommendation which Tony commented on my last video. said uh, put a stainless steel ball in there or some marbles. I didn't have either one, so I just went to Home Depot and picked up a stainless steel uh, um, bolt and put a couple washers, well not washers, uh, nuts on it to uh, kind of weigh it down. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. I already got all this sanitized uh, ahead of time, so you guys can see what I'm going to do here. Let me grab this real quick. So, I'm just going to go ahead and throw that bad boy in there. Just down in there. Got everything all sanitized. Citra hops, I can sanitize them. Open this up, which I kind of don't think I needed to do, but just being a little careful with it. Here he goes. <laughs> it's not opening it up too easily. There we go. It's smelling good, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just. Put these bad boys in there. Okay, citra hops out. I'm in the bag with uh, stainless steel nuts already in there, so I'm just gonna pull this tight. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the carboy. Go with me here. Hold that for me. Yeah, here we go. Already got the carboy all sanitized. Um, don't fear the foam, as they say. Kind of, I don't know, kind of bugs me, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and trust it. Put the hops in there. It smells really good. Actually, it stinks. No, it doesn't. It's the girlfriend. <laughs> she doesn't know really. So. Dumb. <laughs> So there's those. I already got all the sanitized. It's a chair. Really, I don't have much space here. I'm not home right now, so it kind of sucks. First time I'm opening this since the blow off incident, so. Take a look, guys. <laughs> See what it's like in there. Oh my god. Oh. So. <laughs> oh god. We had a good fermentation. Uh, oh. Hops everywhere. <laughs> so. Yeah, guys, that's it. Um, get a quick smell. It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of strong, <laughs> strong alcohol smell there. <laughs> um, so put, go ahead and put this up. Get ready to siphon it off. So we got dry hops in there. All this has been sitting in the sanitizer for a while. I might let all this strain out. What? It smells like baby poop. It does not. It's yes, it does. Don't listen to me, guys. <laughs> so, I'm come over here. Mm. So, there we go, guys. Siphoning it off there. <sighs> So it's not. So you can see the color, it's pretty clear already. I'm gonna put the secondary anyway to try to clear, clear it up a little better. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, go ahead and put it down there. There you go. See me? Yeah. Alright, guys, so that's another homebrew Wednesday. Um, 
hopefully everything's gonna go according to his plan. Uh, everything's pretty smooth now, you know, just siphoning it off, dry hopping. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry hop it for five days. Um, that's what uh, um, Russian River tends to do with theirs. So um, they say it gets the best aroma after five days. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do and see how it turns out. But if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and lay them on me. Um, the next, oh, another thing for you guys. Uh, I'm going to brew again here in this next month with one of my buddies. We're actually going to do a mint chocolate stout. Um, if you guys have any ideas how to, how to add the mint or the chocolate into it, lay it on me. Um, I'm thinking about dry hopping it with the mint leaves or you know, the extract, the mint extract, or which way you guys prefer putting the chocolate in. Um, actually, the, the dark baker's chocolate or like cocoa nibs or even the powder. Um, let me know what you guys use on stouts and uh, where I should look forward to doing it. But uh, thanks for doing it, guys, and uh, see you next time. Another home brew to Wednesday.